I was motivated to start my business, um, start public relations, because I, there was a certain aspect of public relations and marketing that I didn't see being done in Hong Kong. And um, my two loves when it comes to work are creativity and strategy. And I was seeing in a lot of businesses and a lot of campaigns in Hong Kong that there was a lot of disparity between the two and the two were becoming mutually exclusive. Either things were being done very strategically or they were being done creatively. Um, and I wanted to work at a company where the two could marry and um, make sense together to do better campaigns. It depends on the day. So for most days, most weekdays, I always make myself available um, starting at 9 a.m. and until 6 p.m. I'm always available via phone, email, um, whatnot. But because of the nature of my business and the nature of my clients, um, my schedule might change some because I might have a work event one day um, for a client launching a product or something like that, a media lunch, um, or I might have a lot of um, meetings one day things like that, or I might have a day where I'm in the office um, actually working on campaigns. For me, raising, uh, raising awareness and getting new customers is something that I was really concerned about when I was starting the company. I wasn't sure how to go about that, whether it was going to be a website, SEO, um, marketing, but really for me it's turned out to be a lot of word of mouth. Um, and referrals, referrals from friends, referrals from other clients that have been happy with work. Um, and then I've gotten quite a few referrals from journalists that I know that I pitch other clients to and they like the way that we work and they like the way that I work. Um, and they've actually referred clients to me as well. Um, so it's really been word of mouth and relying on networking and contacts. that if anyone's starting, if anyone's wanting to start their own business and they're unhappy with the job that they're in right now, to just make the leap and get out and um, go for it, to start your own company, to move on to something else, for me that was the best decision that I've ever made. And leaping without a really solid plan turned out to be okay because I think that if I had waited until I had a really solid plan and had something in place, I would have never done it. There would have never been the right time. There would have never been the comfortable time.